what is up guys and welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute but i finally put together some of my favorite go-to looks for fall so this is a medley of fall winter items because i know it is more we're getting into winter at least depending on where you live i'm from toronto so that being said it's already snowing and it's only the beginning of November. Um, if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for upcoming videos because I'm now going to be posting every Wednesday and Sunday as you can see on my profile um, if you check out my YouTube channel. This is a mixture of like essentials for fall as well as some like trendy items for fall. So I think it's a really good um, way to help you guys get inspired and to gauge what investment pieces you maybe should purchase for this season and next. So let's get right into it. So the first item we have here is a absolute wardrobe staple. It is a bodysuit. Um, so this one here is a Lorena bodysuit, which is, yes, my brand. And it is a new mock neck with an open back. So it's kind of like a halter, or it is a halter, I should say. It's a halter bodysuit. It has an adjuster on the back. So there's three different adjusters. So if you have like a tighter neck or if you want a little bit looser, you can make that modification. And the bottom as well has an adjuster. So if you have a longer torso or a shorter, you can also go ahead and make that um, modification as well as a thong bottom. So you don't have to worry about panty lines. Um, and paired with that in this look, I also have these pants. These are some amazing leather trousers. I highly recommend both of these actually as investment pieces for your wardrobe. These are faux leather from Zara with a bottom that's sort of cinched and they're great. They fit very oversized, which I love. And I got them in a size two. Love how these fit and I think they're great because you can wear them with sneakers or you can wear them um, as I paired them with docks. Then on top of that, we have a another staple. Guys, this whole outfit is a staple. Let's just call it a staple outfit. So then we have this faux leather jacket. It looks like a vintage jacket, but it's not. This one's actually from Naked and it has really nice button detailing on it along the side and it's super soft and leathery. So it literally feels like leather. Every single time I wear this, I get a few compliments. So highly recommend you guys can check this one out, which I'll obviously link below. But if not, I definitely go thrift shopping and search for a very cool sort of like worn in um, leather jacket from the 90s. Next super trendy item is gotta be patent pants. They've made a comeback this season. I personally don't know why. I don't know how I feel about them quite yet, but I have quite a few pairs. So we can obviously start with a classic black pair. This one is from Naked, the pair that I'm wearing, which is in a size 34, and they're super nice. They're just a straight, more tapered leg, and um, that makes it really easy to wear with any sort of boots. And as you can see, I wore them with like super nice high, flat thigh high boots, which are super affordable that I got from Zara. They're great because they go like all the way over your your pants. So they fit like kind of like a sock, but you could alternatively wear them with like a pair of slides, which I did earlier. It's just now it's so freaking cold that I have to wear them with boots. And paired really cutely with it, I personally think, is a cropped sweater. Uh, cropped sweaters may not be practical for the warmth, Although this one is very thick, um, but they are super trendy and can kind of elevate a look if you are trying to go for something stylish but still be relatively warm for the winter. Um, so this one here has a nice long turtleneck that you can fold over and um, get that sort of. And it also has balloon sleeves. Um, this one here is from a store in Canada called Honey, but there's also the original design, which is by Orson Iris, which I will link below. One of my absolute favorite brands. I still have yet to own something from them, but I am absolutely obsessed with the designer and she is killing it. Um, all her designs are amazing. Obviously, if someone's copying it, that means it's incredible. So I'd highly recommend checking her out. Um, if you guys also want another option for patent pants, I do recommend um, something like these. So th this orange pair here I found at Aritzia and it's kind of a nice little play on the regular pattern. Again, it's straight, has a bit more of like a open, more of a straight cut than tapered, um, but it's great because then they're short enough to wear with a pair of docks or other pair of boots without touching the snowy ground. So a trend that I've continued to style throughout this summer to fall to now winter period are baggy vintage jeans or baggy vintage denim. And I have this one pair that I got from my friend Annie actually. 
which are this really cool rugged pair of jeans they're definitely way too big but I really love how it creates that super slouchy look and as you can see when you pair that with a pair of boots and like kind of tuck them in it honestly creates this awesome trend that I have been wearing now that it is fall um, and then that paired with again a slouchy knit because it is sweater weather um, we've got this one here that is from naked and it's amazing it's super warm i've worn it so many times and it's also kind of cropped so guys there you see a trend but this one's not too cropped so it cuts right where your jeans would fall so you're not showing any midriff but it again has that nice collar detailing that you can fold over um, for a nice full turtleneck then i also found this really cute sweater that i think is the coziest thing it reminds me of something I used to have when i was a kid this sunday's best aritzia cropped sweater this one is definitely cropped but it's very flattering with the balloon sleeves and then that paired with a classic trouser so trousers are again something i've been wearing from fall now into winter and this pair is from ritzia it's a nice camel color neutrals are super in and i've been trying to add more neutrals into my wardrobe so i don't buy as many clothes because you can match neutrals obviously more with patterns that being said though i also do love a little bit of print and if you're going to invest in something that's a print might as well get something that you can wear with multiple things so that's where this really cute jacket comes into play we've got this snakeskin jacket from naked again it's cool it's kind of like this I don't know, it kind of feels waterproof, but it's not. It's obviously not real snake, guys. Um, I'm wearing a size 36, and I think it looks really cute to add that pop if you want to go for a more trendy look and kind of amp up your neutrals. So on the topic of trousers, we got another one. This pair is in gray. It's also a pair that I got at Zara. Both of these pairs I got in extra small because I found that they were a little bit bigger in fit or baggier in fit than um, regular. Um, pant styles that they have or denim so I'm normally a size 25 and I got an extra small in this style I like them because they're long they go all the way to the ground so you can wear them with a boot that has a bit of a heel like I did in this look with the white cowboy booties also from Zara and then this cute little white cropped cotton knit crop top that is from Brandy Melville it has also been a staple that um, lots of people have been asking about so I thought I'd share it with you guys and the final thing and outfit that I want to show you guys is a cute cord set. So this one here is great for winter because it's warm. So although it is a skirt and it is a skirt paired with a top, this top here is nice because it's not cropped so you can tuck it into the skirt and it is a super super cozy knit material. And then the skirt is a midi skirt so it has a tiny little slit on the side, but not too big. Um, and again, it covers most of your legs, especially if you pair it with a pair of boots, like the pair that I'm wearing in this look, which are also from Naked. So there you guys have it. That is my little fall lookbook for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want to see more style videos in the comments below. Bye.